what's going on guys welcome back to my channel i know it's been like a really 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 long time since i've posted but i've been pretty busy with school and whatnot um so i thought i'd take a break from studying diabetes and film me doing my makeup little update and yeah let's just get this going i guess so please make sure to like comment share and subscribe and yeah here we go first i'm gonna start off with these uh hydrogel eye masks sorry about the box i just came back from vegas like a few days ago and i took them and i didn't even use them my bags are horrible like they're just so bad. So I'm going to pop these on. And hopefully they help. Okay. So it just comes like in a little container, I guess, thing like this. And it has like all the serum on here. So I'm just going to... So I'm gonna put it under. Just like that. And then it has like the jelly part. Oh my gosh. And like the little plastics on it. Okay, little product. Go to waste, guys. Oh my gosh. No. Okay. Anyways. So here's like the little jelly part. It has like glitter on it. Okay, we're gonna... Oh my gosh. This feels so freaking good. Alright. You guys know usually I start with like my face and whatnot. But since we put these on first, I'm gonna start off with my eyes. I don't know how to feel about it. But you know what? We're gonna just gonna go with the Too Faced Lip Injection. We're gonna go ahead and just put this on. Go a little plump. There it is. Alright, so like always, I'm going to use my e.l.f. little eyebrow thingy. Um, it looks like this. I only use this. It's like a more jelly kind of side. And this is in the color dark. And I just use an e.l.f. angled brush. First I'm going to come on my brows. I'm going to go do my brows after this. I know it's going to make sense for me to do them. I'm not going to get them done, but... So comb them out, and then I've tried using of um angle brush, but like I don't know why I can't do my eyebrows with it. Like it's angle too, but I can only do them like how I like them with the elf one. So that's why I just use this one. So I just start off by lining like this bottom part right here, and then down this way, and then I kind of just fill it in so you see I have like the harsh line here and then I literally just blend it up I don't put as much product in the inner corners or the inner part of my eyebrows it's more just the outside and I'm getting a big bumble right here This one's called nursing school, and this one's called tests. So, bear with me, people. And I also haven't been, like, using my proactive, so... That can also be a part. And then from here, I just... Go ahead and do... 
this without adding more product. like that. I'm here suffering and I have a mirror right here. Okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna get a little bit more. And then just do this little part. It's cause like the light is like reflecting over here. Now I've tried using the Anastasia pomade, but I don't know if I, I don't know how to like use that product or the product just doesn't like me, but they always come out like really dark and kind of like blocky. Like, I don't know, they just look really fake to me. So I don't know if I, I just don't know how to do it or I use too much product maybe. I don't know, but. I just never liked it. So I've always just used this. Alright, so there's one brow done. And I'm just gonna go off camera and finish the other one. Alright? Use a Luxie 231 small tapered blending brush that looks like this. Charmed, I'm sure, which is this color here. And I'm just gonna put that in the outer crease, just make it real smoky. Okay. Back with the R39 brush, not adding no more product. Just gonna go ahead and blend those together. I'm just gonna use this e.l.f. Professional Eyeshadow Brush, and I'm just gonna go in with the color Puree and just put that all over my lid. So it's just gonna be like a really brown bronze color whatever you want to call it but we're going to add a touch of color and with the same color puree and the same eyeshadow brush the flat one I'm just going to oh wait I forgot I had to put foundation on <laughs> just kidding alright and now that the lids are done um, I'm going to go ahead and start on my face so first we're going to start off with moisturizer and I'm going to use the Fitchy Aqualia Thermal. It looks like this. This is really good for dry skin. Um, in the winter, like obviously my skin gets really really dry and gross and it was actually really bad this past December. I was like cracking like legit everywhere. Like under my eyes, on my eyelids, they were so dry. Like when I would put on eyeshadow, it was like so flaky. It looked so gross. Alright, here's the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. Sorry, y'all. How awkward. Mm. So tired, it's a joke. So now I'm gonna use the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define in the color F10. like literally my exact shade which to me is just like ridiculous like, even like i mean obviously you can 
tell, like, you can tell, you know? I'm gonna use my Morphe Spectre to blend all this out. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and up with our concealer. And for that one, I'm gonna use shade C8.5. Here, and again, I'm gonna make up Revolution Conceal and Define. And I'm just gonna put that on the bottom. And then again, we're gonna go back with our. Mm open with our little makeup real techniques um little spectra I can't think of what it was called This little sponge, and I got my Derma Blonde Loose Setting Powder in the color original. And we're just gonna pop that on there. the Wet n Wild Makeup Stick for contour in the color Call Me Maple. It's just a flat top brush I get this. So I usually just start right here. And then the bottom. Just blend that out on the top. Guys, it's starting to snow now. <laughs> Why? I literally hate the color. matte bronzer in the color medium. Just like this. And then I'm going to use a Morphe R14 brush, which is just like a little. Go ahead and grab this. Powder. And I'm using it in the Morphe M401 brush. It's just a big fluffy brush. The tart party looks like this. Then I'm gonna use the Murphy R7 brush. little rosy cheeks. I'm just kidding. I'm going to put on highlight and I'm going to use the Anastasia Glow Kit. The Sun Dipped. And I'm going to use the color Termaline. I love this color. I'm going to put it on a Luxie 522 tapered highlighter brush. I'm 
Better than us. Cupid's bow. So on my chin, so Tess can pop out of here a little bit more. This little Ulta Beauty eyeshadow brush. It's just like a little flat, fluffy brush. Just gonna blend this out. Alright, and we're not done with guys. To add a pop of color. So let's see what do I have available. And then This might be cute. Okay. Keep what I said might. I'm gonna use the BH Cosmetics, um, the same as the as this one, the eco friendly or whatever. I don't remember the name of it. The little thing, but doesn't matter. Um, and this is the number seven brush, and in the Tarte Tarteist Pro palette, I am going to use the color. Over here, trendy. Uh, and I'm gonna use some next setting spray to seriously, just nothing wants to work today. There's still some in here, I can hear it. Mm. I look crazy. Don't worry guys, we're gonna fix this, I promise. Okay guys, it's fine. It's fine. No worries, no Go a go clean this off and then do this eye like this eye and then I'll be okay. So I went ahead and put on mascara and lashes. I used guys, I'm like dead with this mascara the Voluminous Lash Paradise. Is it by Maybelline L'Oreal? This, this, that for the mind. I'm gonna show you guys how to play outside right now. Um, and then I'm gonna use this elf lip crayon thingy. The color Praline, 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 
the slide. I'm going to focus. There. It's just like a little crayon thingy. And. the final look hope you guys enjoyed and i will try to upload another video soon peace thanks for watching guys